can I get a medium green tea? How would you like? Just black. Okay. And a chocolate chip cookie. Okay. That's it. Right. Thank you. Got the cookie again. Said I was being healthy last vlog, but nope. Hi there. Okay. Ah, okay. Guys. It has been a while. It has been a hot minute since I have vlogged. I'm well aware. Don't mind the RBF mood right now going on. Um, yeah, I'm not wearing my contacts this morning, so. 600 meters, turn right on Edinburgh Hill Drive. This is like a repetition of last vlog. Um, yeah, but I'm not wearing my contacts this morning, so I'm just wearing my prescription sunglasses. But those will be off in a minute. Anywho, um, yeah, it's been a real long time since I've vlogged. I'm really sorry. I will update you all when I get into the classroom. But yeah, there's a lot that was going on. And if you're an educator, you do not Turn need me. Right oh my gosh. Light. Representation of how the weeks have been going. Hot mess. But yeah, like I was saying, if you are an educator, you do not need me to explain how hectic life has been lately. Um, so yeah, oh my gosh, meters. bye. I will talk to you in the classroom. Okay, let's retry that really quick. So, like I was saying, if you are an educator, you know how hectic the times have been. And I will update you all in the classroom about everything that's been going on and why I've been away from the vlogs. But I'm happy to be back today and having just an updated daily vlog. So, those who are new here, my name is Jasmine. I am a third year, first, second, and third grade teacher here in Toronto, Canada. I also teach French immersion, so any of you fellow French teachers that are watching and following along the journey, um, I'm really happy that you're here because I feel like the French community is very much a minority on the online web world, so I would love to connect with more French teachers here. So yeah, thank you for watching and feel free to reach out. By the way, even though I have been inactive on YouTube, I have been active on my Instagram-ish, a little bit more, um, so feel free to follow me over there if you would like to stay up to date. So my Instagram is at first grade Frenchies, just like here on YouTube. All right, let's go into the school and I can start updating you on everything that's been going on. Okay, hi guys, and welcome back to the classroom. Um, so let's just get into a backstory of why I've been away for so long. First of all, pandemic teaching, self-explanatory. It's been crazy and busy, and just picking up a phone or a vlog camera right now just seems so unimportant in a way. And I'm not saying that in a you know mean way, like, oh, I don't care about this channel. It's just that so much is going on that this is like one of the last things I'm actually honestly thinking about because you're there for the kids, right? So that goes without saying, and I'm sure any teacher or YouTuber can relate to that, that obviously that duty comes first. So I was really focusing on them because we had another reorganization. So classes changed again. Um, parents were given the opportunity to switch. If they were in person, they were allowed to go online. And if any were online that wanted to come in person, they could switch. Um, so some switched and so I did increase my numbers, which is like ironic, you would think it would go lower, but it went higher. Um, so I have more students now in my classes and now it's frozen and parents can't switch anymore until February. So we have like little blocks of time where they are allowed to switch, but then after that it's like frozen and now it can't change. So in a way it's nice because it's kind of some certain like stability. Um, so yeah, I got another student in my grade one class. So now I'm at 10, which is nice. It's still small. So 10 in my grade one class. And then for my two, three split class, we are at 23. So that's a really big class. Poor kids have like no space at their desk, but you know, they're happy and they're all together and we have a good time. So that's good. So anyways, I was getting used to all the uh, adjusting of new students and all of that stuff. And Last time I vlogged was my Halloween crafts video, so that was around Halloween, which is a crazy time. Then my birthday was November 2nd, so happy birthday to me. 
I'm now 26. So that was my birthday weekend. So obviously I took the weekend off. I had such an amazing weekend. Um, and then what else happened? My car, you already know about the mishap where my car got hit last couple weeks ago. I had to go take it in, got a loaner car. Then it was parent teacher conferences and that was virtual and that was insane. I have never experienced something like that. It was so interesting. But um, yeah, so we, we did them virtually and I was actually in the classroom doing them just on my MacBook laptop. It was so weird, but it was also really cool in a way. Um, just to be able to connect like that. It was nice to really see like families' faces and get to know some students better for those who I haven't met their families. So yeah, just honestly a lot going on. So I feel like it's slowing down. It's Friday today. We can take it a bit more easy. Um, a couple of vlogs ago, I posted about um, class raffles. And so funny enough, today is another class raffle because we have one every month. So that's crazy that it was a month ago that I did that when it feels like it was just a few weeks or like not even. So yeah, we have another raffle today, which will be a fun day. So I already know the spirits will be high today. Um, yes, but that's basically my update. Nothing crazy, but I have some really, really big news. And so this is another reason why I've been so busy and why I have been an inactive is because, by the way, if anyone knows me, they know this is like a huge deal because I've only been talking about this for about four years. So it's finally happening. I'm getting a puppy. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm getting a puppy and not just any puppy, my dream dog, which is a French bulldog. Oh my gosh okay so obviously my channel name first grade frenchies is a play on you know french students and all that and i'm a french teacher but low-key it's also because i love frenchies i've loved french bulldogs literally since my year abroad when i studied in paris and i saw them everywhere all over the parks and i was like what is this breed and it was so adorable to me and i just loved frenchies ever since and so me and my boyfriend we both love them and so we decided you know like now is the time we're kind of settled no one's traveling nowadays so we're at home um, he works from home, so he has the time to train a puppy, right? Like he can be there to watch and potty train and all that. So we were just like, you know what? Why not? Like we've wanted this for a long time. Let's do it. Let's let's take it to the next step. So we're really excited, um, and that's coming next week. So I've been prepping, being the crazy dog mom. I've been buying everything off Amazon that I probably don't need. Um, but yeah, so you're gonna see definitely um, some updates of the puppy in hopefully a couple of vlogs, and I'll. Uh, eh. And obviously on my Instagram, I will be posting about the puppy. And so yeah, you're gonna see all about him and I'm really excited. So that's my big update and that's kind of what's been occupying my mind as well. So now I'm gonna take you through some of my planning for the day and getting into teacher mode. Before that though, let's take a look at my outfit. All right, here is my outfit for the day. Very simple, honestly. It's honestly kind of warm today, so I just wanted to be casual. So I'm wearing this long sleeve black t-shirt and these t-shirts are absolutely amazing. If you haven't tried the um, Uniqlo heat tech um, pieces, they are incredible. So they're basically designed to keep you really warm even though they're thin. So there's nothing bulky about it, but they have this kind of technology that blocks the wind. So it's really good. It's a Japanese brand. So if you haven't heard of Uniqlo, check it out. So even though it's like thin, it keeps me really warm. So this is my long sleeve from Uniqlo. I'm wearing these um, trouser pants from Hollister, I believe, which are kind of old, but I love them. They're really comfy. And then I'm wearing my Nike Air Force One sneakers and a headband from H&M. So that is my outfit. Okay, so now for those watching, if you are a French teacher, um, I have a really big piece of advice for you. If you're not a French teacher, you can skip this part or just listen and learn something new. But one of the most important things that I've learned now from my three years of experience teaching French is that you really want to have um, a theme going on. So it's really hard to tackle a language when you're just going free for all like, okay, let's learn this, then this, then this. It's really nice to have it in chunks of categories or themes. So for my first grade, uh, for my, sorry, I can't speak this morning. For my first grade class, I always have a theme. So for example, September and October, I focused on classroom objects. So like markers, scissors, like chalkboard, like all these vocab words. 
now I'm working on clothing items. So they're gonna learn all about the clothing. And then I'm gonna do body parts. So I always do like categories. And um, I even do sound categories. So for my even grade twos and threes, this is so useful because it really is the foundation to being able to read in French. If they don't have the French phonetic sounds, it's pretty, pretty hard. So especially because the sounds, even though they might look like English, they're completely pronounced differently, right? Um, for example, I'm trying to think, I-N, in English would be in sounds, right? But in French, it's en. So it kind of depends on the language. So you really want to break up all of the words by sound. So I'm teaching my grade twos and threes all about the sounds. Some of them are really good at this, but some really needed this kind of refresher. So um, what I do basically is I have a couple of resources that are my like go-tos for teaching this. So for starters is you want to have some kind of poem or song. So um, I always have a poem. I'll try and insert it right here if I can do that kind of technology thing. I'm, I haven't even, I'm honestly not good at editing, so I need to learn, but hopefully I can show you the poem here. So I have a poem and I do it, I change up the poem every single week, obviously depending on the sound. Sometimes I've made up my own poems. Sometimes I find them on TPT or Google. So you kind of just have to do some research. One of my favorite resources though for sound poems in French um, is on TPT. Her name is Yvette Rossignol. I will post her down below because she has some really great bundles of phonetic sound poems. So anyways, the sound we're working on this week is the sh, ch sound. And so here's what we do. We do a couple of things. For starters, we have a weekly list of spelling words. So these are the spelling words that I have for this week that are all focusing on the sound sh. And so what happens is we kind of work on the words all week. From Monday, they learn about the new words and we work on them all week. They're up on the board so students can look at them at lunch and just keep practicing. I post it on Seesaw, like my parent communication tool, so parents can practice at home with them. So I do a lot of um, basic like, practice with the sounds. And then on Mondays, so the next week on Monday, we'll have a spelling quiz all about the sounds. My grade twos have to spell all 10 words and my grade threes have to spell all 10 words plus a bonus word that I didn't announce but has that sound. So they gotta kind of sound it out and figure it out. Um, so we do that and they love it. Parents love it. It's a nice like positive routine that happens every single week and they know what to expect and we just change up the sound. So this resource and all of these um, spelling words that you can find are from Madame Bach right here on TPT. Again, I will link that below amazing resource she has so many different sounds and themes so sometimes we won't do a sound sometimes we'll do a theme if it's a special week for example halloween we didn't do a sound we just focused on halloween themed words and for example remembrance day we focused on remembrance day words so the, these kind of ideas help make french fun right something to look forward to you're always doing something new every week um and so with madame box resource you'll also get these little booklets so you obviously have to assemble it yourself but these booklets have been amazing. It's such a great tool for students to have. For example, if they are finished something early, okay, go take out your sound booklet and start working on it. Or if they need extra homework at home, maybe they can work on their sound booklet. So it's really nice to include this. So I always give them one of these every week with the new sound. And so there's different um, kind of questions inside it. So one of them is like decoding, using like special symbols to decode the word and find out the mystery word. Um, what else do they have? Oh, put all the words in like ABC order. So that's there. This one is kind of figuring out the consonants, vowels, and I mean, uh, yeah, consonants, vowels, and syllables of the words. So just like different activities, all literally relating to the words of the week. So these two go hand in hand. Um, she has a bundle. I am not sponsored or, you know, I don't even know her, but whoever Madame Bach is, thank you, because this is an amazing resource. So that's one thing I do. And then I also do some comprehension, like quizzes and different kinds of activities, listening quizzes. We might listen to a song and they have to fill in the blanks of the words that have that sound of the week. Um, for example, this is a, listen, uh, a reading comprehension that we're gonna do this week, obviously with the sound sh. We're actually doing this today for my grade twos and threes. This resource is from Michelle Dupree. Again, will be linked below. I'll link everything below. But yeah, so students read the paragraph and then they have to answer some questions. For my lower readers, sometimes what I do is I will just read the questions first with everyone. Um, 
I try not to do too much helping because I really want to see what they're doing. But of course, some do need assistance and you have to, you know, accommodate them. So sometimes I'll just read the questions for them and explain what they mean. Or we'll read the whole paragraph together and then I'll give them the paper and then they can start reading it on their own and trying to decode it. So I usually do that. But anyways, um, yeah, so all these kind of things work really well together for teaching French. So sounds, sounds of the week, um, phonetic, yeah, phonetic sounds having groups of you know vocab so body parts clothing um, animals like really grouping your stuff and also having lots of songs honestly songs are so important with my first graders i do a lot more songs it's a bit hard this year with masks and all that so you know I, if you can't do that i know some schools don't allow singing apparently this is what i've heard so if you're not allowed that then definitely just do poems because it's a speaking it's at a speaking pace you don't have to be singing or really you know um like forcing your throat and your your vocal cords so just look into that but that is my biggest tip honestly is really like having categories and really planning it out like that it's gonna make your life so much easier too when you have a routine and all you have to do is change up the sound or change up the theme the themed words instead of having to like come from scratch new ideas every single time so that's what i am going to be working on right now and um, i will check in with you whenever i can at some point today by the way i haven't had a chance to update on my new bookshelf i think i mentioned in another vlog that i change up the the books on this shelf every month so you saw last month was all my halloween themed books and now we're moving on to november so all my november books are pretty much themed around our character trait that we focus on at school, which is respect, and as well as peace because of Remembrance Day and or Veterans Day in the States. So a lot of bullying books because of respect and a lot of peace books. So you might be able to notice the, there are some like fall themed books as well. So these are all about more like respect. We've got some peace books. This is more about respect here um, and like working together, anti-bullying, all of that. So loving our bookshelf and the students are loving it this month as well. Hey guys, okay, so I'm on prep, so I'm in my um, partner's class, my teacher partner's class, and this is where I spend the other half of my day, um, and I told you it's a big class with 23 students. And so yeah, I just wanted to show you a couple things that I was talking about this morning regarding my French poems and all that stuff. So I'm gonna show you a couple things around the class. So here is the sound poem I was talking about. So these ones are from Yvette Rossignol, who I talked about, and she has all these different poems re uh, um, related to specific sounds. So we are doing the sh sound, so this is our poem. And then over here in this area of the class, I have that French little um, pocket chart. And this pocket chart is where I have all our weekly spelling words. And this is basically what the students can use to memorize the words and practice throughout the week. So that's our words. And then down there is where I put the raffle. So as you can see, today is our raffle day. So I change that up all the time. So that's a couple things. I also have my um, duotangs organized over there, which I showed in the last vlog. And yeah, so now I'm gonna just use my teaching partner's desk and just do some marking because she's in my class teaching my first graders. And so yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit of that. I'm right now marking this little writing project we did in French about my ideal animal. So we're doing opinion writing. So I'm just gonna like look over their paragraphs and basically mark that. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. And I will check in with you whenever I can. random update that I just wanted to mention is this water bottle which I talked about before and I can link below it's from Amazon and it kind of gives you like reminders of when to drink your water oh my gosh the water bottle is amazing but it's also the death of me because students read it every time and they're like Madame Joe Hall you're behind on your water it's telling you to drink more so it's really funny but anyways yes lifesaver always have one of those water bottles on hand during your teaching day Okay, so I never got time to finish off the vlog because um, it was hectic with the grade twos and threes. We did a raffle and it was really fun and just such a happy Friday. I literally ended up revealing to them that I'm getting the puppy. Um, so they 
were so thrilled honestly like probably as excited as I am like for me they are just so excited because they know I've been talking about some of these kids know me for literally three years so they know I've been talking about having a dog and wanting a dog for so long so they were really happy um even though I'm not getting it this weekend it's next weekend but still I wanted to tell them so that was fun anyways um it's Friday now so I am Friday afternoon evening so I'm now heading out funny enough to the dollar store really quick um, teach your life it never ends and you're always running on missions to little things pl little places just to get things here and there like books or supplies whatever so I'm heading to the dollar store really quickly to get a couple things I'm gonna need for an art project I'm doing so I'm gonna just get a couple of those things because it's on my way home anyways and yeah so I'll get the dollar store stuff and then I'm gonna go home and enjoy my weekend and honestly I'm crazy to say but I'm gonna enjoy my last weekend of my life without a not of my life that was so dramatic oh my gosh jasmine you're so dramatic my last weekend of the next 12 years about that i won't have a dog that's crazy so yeah i don't really know if there's anything different to do without a dog or with a dog but i don't know just gonna have a fun weekend and feel recharged for monday so let's fingers crossed that i'm a bit better this coming up week and i vlog again or make some new video you never know with my life so we'll be making hopefully a next video and if you guys like this content and you love following along on my teacher journey please subscribe that would mean the world or leave a comment and just interact that would be awesome so i will see you in the next video bye